Okay, whenever you're asked to determine the domain and range of a graph, well, the first step is let's use our graphing calculator because that's the best way to determine our domain and range. For example, on this equation 1, y is equal to x to the fourth plus x squared. Let's enter that into our calculator. So we have x to the fourth plus x squared. And if we graph that using our graphing calculator, well, it gives you that graph. And as you can see, the x coordinate goes to negative infinity, and x coordinate goes to positive infinity. And we know that the domain is in reference to our x coordinate. So let's state our domain. I can adjust my pen. So we say that x, the domain, is going to be all real numbers. Or we can say that uh, is it? x is just all real for our domain. And when we look at our range, we know that our graph is above the x-axis or that um, our y-coordinate is greater or equal to 0. So we can write the range as y is greater or equal to 0 or just y is greater or equal to 0, whether you have it in set notation or just uh, staying what the domain and range are. Okay? So let's go back to our uh, second equation. See it. So if you see our second equation, we have y is equal to cos of x plus 2. And again, like if you just look at the equation, try to determine the domain and range, I mean, it is very doable, but the best way to do it is to enter it into your calculator. So we'll enter cos of x plus 2. And that now gives us that global crazy graph. So again, let's kind of determine what our domain and range are. So in order to determine the domain, we're going to look at our x corner. So we know that x goes to negative infinity. And on the right side, x goes to positive infinity. So again, the domain is going to be where x is all real. Or again, we could just write it as x is all real. And that's what this weird um, e sign represents that it is all real. And when we look at the y coordinate, our y coordinate is less than 3, but less or equal to 3, but greater or equal to 1. So we write that as well, y. We know that the lower range was 1, and the higher range, the upper range, was 3. So we just write y in between, and greater or equal to, and less than equal to. Or we can again write it as y is greater or equal to 1, or less or equal to 3. Okay, so now let's go to our final equation where y is equal to x cubed, which is very common to have. So we're going to enter x cubed. And that gives us this graph. And when we look at this again and again, we know that x goes to negative infinity, x goes to positive infinity, positive infinity. So x is going to be all real or x is all real. And when we look at our range, well, y is going to go to positive infinity, and y is going to go to negative infinity, or we can say that, well, all the y values are above y, I mean, above the x-axis or below the x-axis, so we state that the range is also all real, because there's no limitation to what our range is. So y is all real. Okay. 